In this video, we're going to talk about uh, differentiation of different functions, which are polynomials. Okay. So here, the first function is y is equal to x cubed. Okay. Now, when a differentiating function, the formula is, uh, let me write the formula here like this. If y, if y is equal to ax to the power n, this is the general formula, dy by dx or the gradient function is, you drop the power down, so this is a times n times x to the power n minus 1. So we'll first use the formula, and then we'll use the calculator to understand, to, to confirm our answer. That's what I want to do. So here, using this formula, so dy by dx, dy by dx, uh, which is also called in some books, they call it y prime is you drop the power down so that is 3x squared that's how so this is the grading function at any point on the curve okay so let's confirm this on a calculator now this is now go to your table menu so let me delete this and type in the function which is x cube okay and uh, set your table set your table say from minus 5 to plus 5 okay and you also go to your setup menu exit and go to shift setup and your derivative has to be on okay and then you go to table so what is this telling me at x and x is negative 5 your y is minus 125 it makes sense minus 5 cube is one twenty minus 125 and the derivative, this is y prime, is 75. Now I want to use the calculator and confirm whether this is right. So I'll first go to stats menu. This list one and list two should be empty. So let me go back to my table menu. So this is my table menu. And then go to table. Now this is your x and this is your dy by dx. I want to find whether this has the equation of 3x squared. So I'm going to transfer this copy from here to the stats menu. So you go to option and then you go press F1. F1 is list to memory. So it's from list. So my cursor is on X list. So if I press F1, what it will do is it will take to the memory. So L memory is list. From the list, I'm asking the calculator to go take it to the memory. And now from the list, it's asking you to take to which list in the stats menu. So I'll type in 1, and you go execute. And if you go to your stats menu, if you go back to your stats menu, these values are there sitting here. Minus 1, 2, minus 5, 2, plus 5. Okay. Again, let's go back to the table menu. And table, and I want to... Take the, can you see this is dy by dx? This is dy by dx. So option, list to memory, and then I want to take this to list to. Okay, now go back to your table menu. So can you see this is, I have copied and pasted from the table menu to the stats menu. Now I want to draw a graph of this, a scatter graph. So you go to graph, go to set, and this should be your screen. I want to draw a scatter graph, exit and graph it. Can you see? This is a, this is 3x squared. Now I want the calculator to tell me the equation of these points when you join these points. You press F1 and I know this is parabola. I'll press so this is 2.999 so that's nothing but 3. Okay, so this is 3 3x, your A is 3. Okay, calculator is not that smart enough. So calc this is 3x squared. Okay, so copy and uh, execute copy. So if you go to your stats menu, sorry, if you go to your graph menu, it will be there. Okay, so this is nothing but this is nothing but 3x squared. Okay, and don't worry about these things. So this is, and if you draw it, this is a parabola. Okay, and so yeah, just to make you understand what this what this means is 
the graph of this function, suppose if you draw the graph of this function, I didn't want to do this, but let me explain what does this mean. This is, if you draw the graph of y is equal to x cubed, it will look somewhat like this. This is the graph of y is equal to x cubed, which is the given function. And if you draw the graph of the derived function or the gradient function, so let me draw the gradient function would look like this. Okay, now how does it make sense? What is the meaning of this? Just so this is the graph of y is equal to 3x squared. Now if you this is your this is your dy by dx. This is your dy by dx, not y. This is your graph of your gradient function. Now think logically. Now see if you take any point here and you draw the gradient or draw a tangent at that point, can you see it'll it's always going to be positive. If you draw any tangent at any point or line at any point, it's always going to be positive. And that's why can you see the gradient is always positive, is above the x axis. Okay. So yeah I didn't want to do this, but this is your this is your derived graph and this is your basic function. Okay, so let's do the next question. For the second question, dy by dx, so this is your y, y is equal to 3x squared. So using this formula, so dy by dx, dy by dx would be, drop the power down, so this is 3 times 2, x, and decrease the power by 1, so that is 2 minus 1. So let me write all the steps. So this is nothing but 6x. Okay, so let me draw the graph off. So I don't want, I can't, I'm, I'll do this in the next video. Okay, so let me explain this. What does this mean? The graph of y is equal to 3x squared. So let's draw the graph of y is equal to 3x squared. That's a sketch. So this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. So this is your graph of y is equal to 3x squared. So this is the basic parabola. This is y is equal to 3x squared. Okay, now what are we saying? The graph of the graph of your derived function would look like or is 6x. So how would the graph of 6x look like? I hope you know how to draw straight lines. So 6x is a line which is passing through the origin. So let's make sense of this, these two graphs. So this is this is the graph of dy by dx, which is 6x. Okay, so what are we saying? So can you understand at this point, what's the gradient at this point? At this point, the gradient is negative, sorry, is 0. The gradient at this point is 0. Can you see the gradient at this point is 0? To the left of 0, it is... It is negative. Can you see when you take when you take a point anywhere here to the left of zero and you draw a tangent that will be negative. It, this will also be negative. Okay, but when you come here, the gradient will become positive. So can you see at on this part of the graph the gradient is the gradient of the line at this point, these points would be negative. So can you see? To the left of zero, it's all negative, and beyond zero, it's all positive. So this is negative. This part is negative, which corresponds to this part of the graph. And this is always, this is positive, and at this point, it is zero. Okay, so there was one more question. So when, if suppose y is equal to 8 is your function, what does this mean? So y is equal to 8, what is what would the graph of y is equal to 8 look like? Okay, so let me first explain logically. The graph of y is equal to 8 is a line which is passing through 8 on the y-axis. So this is the 8 on the y-axis, this is the x-axis, and this is your y-axis. So this line is called y is equal to 8. Okay, so what's the gradient of this line? That's the question. Okay, so dy by dx use your logic, the gradient of this line is 0. 
okay the gradient of this line is zero so let us check this on the calculator as i told you that the gradient of th uh, the gradient of the function 3x squared would be 6x so again let us go back to table menu go to table menu and type in so let us delete it it is 3x squared so it's already set so this is your x and this is dy by dx i want to find i want to prove that dy by dx should be 6x so the same thing so let me go back okay now okay table menu i'm going to oops table option list i want to take this to list three so let me take this to list three and then i want to take this to list four option list list four so let us go back to the stats menu okay the stats menu can you see list three and list four let me show you only list three so this is your x values and this is dy by dx i want to draw the scatter graph go to graph set and i need to change this from list one to list three and this i need to change from list two to list four and then exit and then draw it can you see this is a straight line passing through zero calculate i know it's a straight line i'll press f2 can you see the equation is y is equal to 6x plus 6x six, six plus 6x six, six plus 0. Okay, or this is y is equal to 6x. So if you draw it, this is the line. 